Hey, this is Luke with harmonica.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you my top five favorite Honer harmonicas, tell you why I like each one. And then at the end, I'll do side-by-side -side playing shootouts of them in a variety of styles. Honer Harmonicas has been making harmonicas for over 160 years. And they've produced over 1 billion harmonicas, billion with a B. And most of their harmonicas are still handmade in Germany. It's something that they're very proud of. Just like watches and automobiles, handmade in Germany, when it comes to harmonicas, is also synonymous with great quality. Everyone agrees that Honer makes great harmonicas, but not all Honer harmonicas were created equal. For example, the hot metal harmonica, unless you're buying a gift for a three-year-old, you do not want this. This is not a good harmonica. It's good to be thrown away. The old standby. It will end up doing what its name says and standing by and not getting played. The Honer Blues Bender. Actually very difficult to bend and totally unresponsive in the high end. I used to recommend the Honer Blues Band since it used to be five bucks if someone just wanted to dip their toes in the water. But the price now is pretty much comparable to the Fender Blues Deluxe. And so I would really recommend going with the Fender Blues Deluxe. You can find full reviews of both the Honer Blues Band and the Fender Blues Deluxe in the links below this video. Okay, and now it's time for our award ceremony. I'm gonna present awards to my top five favorite Honer harmonicas and tell you why I love each one of them. Starting with, at number five, the award for the best Honer harmonica for guitar players who don't want to learn harmonica, the Honer Pentaharp. <laughs> All right, so the Honer Pentaharp, I do not recommend this harmonica actually for beginners. Like if you really want to learn to play the harmonica, you're really limited in the long run. Like if you want to do really harmonica sounding bluesy things like this. And like you can't do that on this. There's no way to do those kind of very harmonica sounding things. However, if you're a guitar player and you know this scale, that all guitar players pretty much learn that sometime in their first year of playing. The pentaharp is laid out so it's just blow, draw, blow, draw, blow, draw, exactly going up that scale like this. So the cool thing about the pentaharp is you can play the blues on it very quickly just by learning how to isolate notes. You don't have to learn how to bend. And to be clear, learning how to bend is not an easy thing. It's a very challenging, it can be very frustrating. And so if you play guitar and you're like, I just wanna be able to play some blues or some blues rock kind of riffs, I don't wanna to have to spend six months or a year learning difficult techniques, then this could be really cool for you. I mean, you could play songs like this. All right, so that's a little bit about the pros and the cons of the Pentaharp. It's Honer's newest offering at the time of shooting this video, so I just wanted to be sure and let you know about it. Coming in at number four for the best harmonica for classic blues tone, the Marine Band 1896. If you really want to sound like the old blues masters, like you really want to get that old woody tone, then play the harmonica that all those guys played. People like Sonny Boy Williamson, people like Sonny Terry, Little Walter, all those old blues guys that had such killer tone. This is the harmonica that they were playing. So if you want to emulate that tone, go with this harmonica. Okay, well, if it sounds so great, why doesn't everybody play the Marine Band? Well, a lot of people do play the Marine Band, but I would say the reason I don't play it 
is it's not comfy on the lips, right? If you look closely, you can kind of see here the reed plates are exposed this brass line here at the bottom of the cover plate that's the side of the reed plate and i find when i play that that kind of rubs into my lips a little bit and then also on the comb itself these wooden sections between the holes are rough on the lips and so you'll hear stories about old blues guys playing harmonica for hours and literally their lips are bleeding sounds great <laughs> And I've got all A harmonicas today for this video. I just wanted you to get to hear what some of the lower tuned harmonicas sound. And again, at the end of this video, I'll do side-by-side -side playing shootouts of all of them. So that's a little bit about the pros and the cons of the Marine Band. Again, I rate it as my number fourth favorite Honer harmonica. Coming in at number three, the award for the best Honer harmonica for beginners, the Special 20. All right, now the Special 20 is not only for beginners, so I don't want to mislead you with the title of this award. Plenty of great professional harmonica players have played this harmonica. People like John Popper of Blues Traveler made countless recordings here on the Special 20. Special 20 sounds great. It's got a darker tone than the Marine Band. Very responsive. It may be the easiest harmonica in the world to bend and to control and to get accurate bends. So if you're struggling with bending and you've got a really cheap harmonica, you may want to check out the Special 20. Also, the Special 20 has the plastic comb compared to the Marine Band, which has the wooden comb. Other than that, the reeds are the same. They both have the same high quality brass reeds that makes Honers sound so great. But the different comb material definitely affects the tone. So again, that's why for me, the Marine Band gets the award for the best tone, special 20, best harmonica for beginners. Coming in at number two, the award for the most comfortable Honer harmonica, the Golden Melody. The Golden Melody is without a doubt, in my opinion, the most comfortable harmonica. Reason why is it's just as comfortable on the lips as the Special 20, but it's got these nice rounded quarters, so it's also super comfortable to hold. It's very easy to play, it's very responsive. It's also great for playing really nice, clean, single notes and playing them in tune. I also think it's the best looking Honer harmonica with this cool kind of retro design, the red comb. There's no other harmonica that's shaped like it except for harmonicas that are copying it, of course. This is the favored harmonica of Howard Levy, the great jazz virtuoso. For me personally, I would put the Golden Melody as my number two favorite harmonica. So what's number one? Number one, the award for the best Honer harmonica of all, in my opinion, the Honer crossover. I just absolutely have fallen in love with this harmonica over time. It's a harmonica that I tend to pick up the most often these days. Now, I don't own very many of them because the price tag is very high. It comes in this cool nylon hard case that kind of protects it keeps dirt and debris out, but lets moisture escape from within. The harmonica itself is just beautiful. It's got a bamboo comb, so it's kind of similar in its tone to the Marine Band. It's just as comfy as the plastic comb. But I just love the responsiveness, the tone. If you're the sort of person who likes the best of the best and money is really no object, then definitely consider checking out the Honer crossover. This is like the Cadillac of Honer harmonica. <laughs> All right, time for the shootouts. I'm gonna do shootouts of my four favorite harmonicas because the pentaharp is such a different harmonica. I can't really do a side-by-side -side shootout. I can't play the same stuff on it that I can play on these four harmonicas. So I've got the Marine Band, the Special 20, the Golden Melody, and the Crossover. And I'm gonna play side-by-side -side in a few different styles so you can hear what these babies actually sound like in action. Trills. Cordal folk style.
Well, once again, my name is Luke with harmonica.com. Thank you so much for watching my video on my favorite top five Honer harmonicas. I hope that you found it helpful. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them below. Also, you can find links below the video for individual reviews of each of these harmonicas, which I've done, and I go way more into depth on each of them. So check out those links below the video. Thanks, as always, for watching. Hey, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to like and subscribe to harmonica.com on YouTube for all of the latest free lessons and gear reviews. As always, it's fun hanging out with you and geeking out on all things harmonica. Keep on rocking the harmonica and having fun. Peace out. If you're the sort of person who wants the best of the best, if you're the sort of person, if you're the sort of person, <laughs> oh gosh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> uh, it's nothing to get upset about. <laughs> oh, I just cracked myself up.